Good morning, Pointers. Today is Wednesday, December 7th, and it is an 8 a.m. My name is Lily. And I'm Liv. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At Sparrows Point Middle School, we have pride when we practice safe behaviors, respect ourselves and others, interact with empathy and inclusivity, demonstrate responsible citizenship, and exercise high academic standards. Now, club in time with the weather. Hello, Sparrows Point. My hat just gave up on me. We're not going to talk about that, though. Um, today, it's going to be foggy with a high of 59 and a low of 46. I've, I've run out of jokes. Here's this week's lunch menu. Now, oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yep. Now leading with the national day. <laughs> Today is National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, National Ooh. Illinois Day, and National Cotton Candy Day. Illinois. No creative crafting club today. We will still meet on Tuesday, December 6th until 4 o'clock to paint our holiday crafts we made. See you in room 205. Student council will meet today, December 14th, this Monday, after school, in Mr. Wise's room at 3.45 p.m. We will finalize plans for our holiday create holiday grams and discuss Are you interested in sending a holiday gram to a friend or a teacher? Holiday grams will consist of a packet of hot chocolate and a candy cane. Student Council will sell holiday grams, grams from Tuesday, December 6th to Friday, December 9th. Buy your holiday grams in Mr. Wise's class from 7.50 a.m. to 8.05 a.m. before the late bell. Each gram will be $2 and you can include a personalized message. Please bring exact change. Holiday grams will be delivered during Spirit Week before winter break. Educators games plus one. And experience about not too late to you can send Miss Gardner a message about 13B to We hope to see you December 20th. Drama auditions for the musical Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory auditions are from 3 to 4 p.m. Today for Veruca Salt, Violet Beauregard, Oompa Loompa. Callbacks are December 13th. Thursday, December 8th for Willy Wonka, Charlie, Augustus, Mike TV. And Grandpa Joe with callbacks December 14th. December 20th, Miss and Mr. Bucket, Mrs. Coop, Mr. Salt, Mrs. Beauregard, Miss TV. December 21st, Grandma Georgina, Grandma Josephina, Grandpa George, yeah. Matilda, Dean. Good luck, everyone. Dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons play will be on Wednesdays. Next day is today. Join in a holiday themed adventure from 3 to 4 30 p.m. Message Ms. Vitalik on Schoology to join the fun. Bocce Reminder. Practice is on Tuesday and Thursday. Practices for bocce are in the science hall outside of room 204. Calling all Harry Potter and Percy Jackson fans, join Amari on her mission to find out what happened to her brother whom she never stopped believing was alive. A ticking briefcase leads her to the Bureau of Supernatural Affairs, and Amari is sure they have the answers she's looking for. If you love magic, fairies, aliens, and all kinds of supernatural creatures, then you are in for one epic adventure. You can get Amari and the Knight Brothers by B.B. Alston at our book fair from December 12th through the 16th. You'll have a chance to come down in all ELA classes at lunch and from 4.30 to 6 p.m. right before the winter concert. Now a message about the holiday toy drive. The National Junior Honor Society will be collecting toys, toiletries, and clothing for women and children during the month of December. These items will be donated to domestic violence victims in the Baltimore area through the Greater Baltimore Medical Center. The grade level that collects the most toys and items for the GBMC will st start Math Clash off with five points. Collect your items now and bring them to Ms. Moreland in room 230 before December 22nd. May the best grade level win.
The summary is learning language one. Here's Lucas to show you how to say Good morning, pointers. This morning I will be teaching how to say yes and no in sign language. So for yes, you make a fist, and it's almost as if you're knocking. So you go yes, and for no, it's almost as if you're pinching something. So pinching like that, so that's no. So yes and no. Have a great day. Hold on. I can teach you how to say jaws in sign language. In elementary school, I was in a sign language club. Take a J, come out towards you, then the W of the jaws coming at you like this. That's how you do dog, by the way, which is a big movie, all of them, when I was in elementary school. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the word of the day is cynic, which means one who deeply distrusts human nature, one who believes humans are motivated by only selfishness. The pop star gave a million dollars to the museum. Cynic said that merely trying to... Good morning, Sparrows Point. I am here to review, clarify, and add on, okay? So I'm going to use this studio right here. Can you wear a hat or a hood? Everybody's saying no. That's correct. Is that sign language? That's a no. That's a no. That's a no. No hats ever. No beanies. We clarified that yesterday. No hats. No hats, okay? Um, some of you had a question. If the teacher allows you to put your hood on once you're in the classroom because they know who you are, that's fine. But do not let me find you in the hallway with a hood on because I have these things called lunch detentions. And you know what? I was in the hallway yesterday. I only gave one. You guys listened. <laughs> I only gave one. Um, and the reason I gave it out yesterday is because someone um, had earbuds in. Okay, that's a no. When, and I'll give, the, give your classes a little pause, when can you use a cell phone and earpods? When? Raise your hand in here. Raise your hand in here. Lucas, lunch, lunch. Do principals have to allow it? No, no, principals do not have to allow it. But I did, so you're welcome, okay? Um, so we need you guys to make sure, I want to make sure those rules are explicitly clear, okay? Um, I have an add-on today. My add-on is knock it off with the hot chip challenge, okay? Nurse Gail is tired of seeing you for your belly aches after eating hot chips. Stop it. Try Fuegos. I like the blue ones. Try that. Just eat a whole bag of Fuegos and try not to drink and see, see how long you can go. I know. They're all pointing to somebody in here. Okay. Now, Mr. Rizzi, what is going to happen if somebody comes into your classroom and you say, no hoods? And they don't listen. He said, warning and then a severe punishment. That's, you know, that's... And he says most of his kids heed the warning. So here's what I'm going to say to you. Because we're loosening up for in-classroom only, if I am called to a classroom to, because you are arguing over these rules, you ruin it for everyone. I will not spend my time doing that. Okay? Let me see. What else did I have? I think that's it. All right. Have a great day. Now to Mr. Rizzi. Hold on, I have something else. I knew I had something else. All right, here's the other thing. I understand that kids like to wear cozy pants, okay? This is new for me, because my mother would have yanked me back in my house, and, and, and I'm old, so I get I'm old and things are changed. Rizzi's saying, like, PJ pants. Pants, okay? Apparently, Rizzy's daughter is one of those kids who wears those cozy PJ pants um, with a sweatshirt and school-appropriate shoes, okay? That does not mean you can come in a full pajama, zip-up, footy pajama outfit. No, okay? Again, we're loosening up a little bit. I'm saying school-appropriate, if you wear those cozy PJ-looking pants, fine. 
but do not come in here in a full zip up PJ outfit. We will do that for our spirit dates, okay? Again, I'm gonna give a little, but you know where the line is. And the, if the lines start getting crossed, then I'm gonna have to take it all away. So just bear with me here. I'm growing and I'm trying to adapt to you young people who I've gotta tell you, sometimes you just a little crazy, okay? But we're, we're leaning in and listening to your voices. Now to Mr. Rizzi. I'm gonna have to sit for this one. All right. All right. Can you guys hear me? Sound check. Okay. PBIS brown bag raffle. Now a lot of the teachers and I told them not to worry about getting me their gift cards right now. Okay. If you gave me a gift card, great. If you haven't purchased your gift card yet or whatever you're gonna be buying for the brown bag raffle, it's okay. That student will come to you and then you just get it whenever you have a chance. Okay. You guys done? Okay, don't distract me. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to pull some bags. I'm going to pull some names. If I can't read your name, that's going on the floor. Okay, if a sixth grade name is pulled, that's going on the floor too. All right, so here we go. First one of the day. Miss Stacks, $20 movie gift card and candy. And that winner is, just so you know I'm not cheating, Addison Brown, given to her by Miss Tamales. All right, you give that to. All right, Miss Eiler, twenty dollar Target gift card and candy, kind of a big one. Let me go deep for this one, and we have Andy Stamales, given to her by Miss Swidamore. She a sixth grader. Oh, I gotta pull again. Hold on. I'm joking. I know. Ugh. Here, take that one much miss bracelet or miss moreland bracelet making lunch with miss moreland okay here we go the winner is eaton t given to her by miss her or him by miss sweller eaton t if you win it's your responsibility to go to these teachers and ask them and talk to them but i do have some they might send you to me okay this is probably going to be the best one. And I've told my eighth graders this. This is Miss Ganaris's. I know how she operates. Okay. This is a fishing bag. She's going to go and buy you anything you want. She's going to spend more money than everyone else. Trust me when I tell you this to buy fishing gear. Okay. So I have about a million to choose from in here. Let me go down deep. All right. And the winner is. Kaylee Naylor, given to my Miss Farrell. Okay, that's the best one right there. Okay, lunch with Miss Ryan, sixth and seventh grade only. Alicia G. Eighth grader, Alicia G. All right, there you go. All right, next one. Mr. Coleman's $20 Fortnite gift card and candy. How exciting. There's a lot in here, by the way. Shh. And the winner is... Luke Boniface? Okay, there you go, Luke Boniface. Miss Cintron's candy... Believe it or not, I just pulled out Elicio G again. That's the same kid who just won the last one, right? No, he won T1 too. Good for him. That was Fortnite. Luke Boniface. All right. All right. Hand me that one. I, I, have, I have to do this again tomorrow as well because there's a lot of these. Okay, here we go. Miss Knight, $15 Subway gift card. Shh. And the winner is, as long as I can read it, it doesn't go to school here anymore.
Same person won that one again. Same name. I pulled the same name three times in a row, and she doesn't get a score anymore. Liam Arnett. Ooh. Liam. I hope you're nicer to me than your middle sister. Mr. Wickman's $25 Wawa gift card. Shh. Abby Arnett? Give it to my Mr. Croak. There you go. Miss Smith, a $25 Duncan gift card. This is a nice one here. And the winner is... This is unbelievable. Andy Stamalis. Didn't she already win one? Yeah. Oh my God. Seth Check. Basketball with Mr. Seth Check. This will probably be during first period. So if you do win this, he's going to grab you and a couple of friends. Get you out of first period to play a full game of basketball. And the winner is... I couldn't read the name. Gage Rocker. Given by, given to this person by Mr. Fall. All right. $20 gift card and candy to Wawa from Mr. Falk. Couldn't read the name. Come on. Someone whose name I can actually read. Summer Heffler. All right, and now my $35 Amazon gift card. Put some of these in here. All right, I have three full bags. Miss Farrell, pick a bag, one, two, or three. Okay, bag three, here we go. And the winner of my $35 gift card is... Abigail Underwood, who's sitting in my home room right now. Not. I know she's watching. Abby Underwood. That makes me happy, Abby. All right, I'll be back tomorrow. I have two more of these containers. What's that? And I will be back to also promote the toy drive. Now we'll be back to eat Reese's peanut butter cups on camera. I got a lot of things going on. The next week or so. I also got to talk about the math clash. Um, since it is December, I'll, I, will, I will talk to the sixth graders specifically in a few weeks. All right. So I will see everyone tomorrow morning. Thank you. Where do snowmen put their money? Have a great day, Point.